Yeah, I see you. You got up here and beat me to it. Ah! That's a big one. Holy moly. Oh, there he goes. I got him swimming. <laughs> So what's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So you're obviously gonna notice, we're finally back at the creek today because we actually don't have school tomorrow and today is a Sunday, because Labor Day weekend. So we decided to come to the creek. I haven't been in a long time. I haven't been in the videos for a while. <laughs> so- That's true. We're gonna do a tournament style creek fishing tournament. That's right. Houston has outfished me about three or four times lately. And uh, I said, well, why don't we just settle this fair and square? Or just have a little competition on video. We're going to do this like bass tournament style. In a typical bass tournament, you get to keep five fish. You weigh in your five biggest fish. I think we'll do six. Bluegill, sunfish, everything are much smaller. But there's a few bass in the creek too. So we both have a, you know, a big minnow bucket. And uh, we're going to keep our six biggest fish each and see who wins today's fishing tournament both of us are going to be fishing with trout slayer uh the little crawfish i asked houston what he wanted to fish with and he said trout slayers that's what catches all the fish so i'm not going to fish with something else because trout slayers are what seem to catch all the fish in the creek yeah. and uh we don't even have a contest we don't have a prize set up yet i don't know maybe we'll think of something before this is bucks. over 20 bucks the winner owes the loser 20 bucks you think that's a good bet? Sure. Are you willing to bet on that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. Anyways, we're back at the creek. It does not look amazing. It's a little mossy, a little lot of algae growing. These 100, 105, 108 degree days and no rain for no measurable amount of rain since early July. And uh, here we are, what, September 3rd? If the creek's still flowing, don't get me wrong but it just doesn't look the best right now. What'd you say? I said maybe not 20 bucks. What? Why not? Because I don't want to lose 20 bucks. You don't want to lose 20 bucks. All right. Well, we don't have to bet money. That's fine. We can just say just the winner wins. You, you get me a turtle if I win. No. You got plenty of turtles. <laughs> Here comes Bear. What's up, buddy? You going to come cool off in the creek? Hey, Bear. What you been doing, buddy? I'm glad we left Earl in the house. There's too many stick tights out for him. He can't come down here right now, huh? Oh, I got the first fish. I think he's too small to even keep. I'm not putting that in my bucket. One down, but I don't think I'm gonna count that as fish number one. Now we can cull. So if we're not just keeping, you know, we don't have to just put the only ones we want to weigh in the bucket. We can call out small ones, but that one doesn't weigh anything. We're not going to start with that. Already messing up my fishing hole, huh? You're going to have to get wet to get that one out. I don't think I'll put that one in my bucket either. He's not much bigger than the first one. You got a little one. I don't know if you're on the camera. There you go. I don't know. He looks a little small. Same thing. Green sunfish, about the same size. We're gonna have to find some bigger ones than that. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, Houston's gonna put one in the bucket. Oh! Dang! So much for putting that one in the bucket. Yeah. Well, better luck next time. Got another little one? I got the same looking one a while ago. 
Yeah, so here, this is the second one of these little sunfish that Houston's caught, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Let us know in the comment section if you know what kind of sunfish this is. Hey, he might have, he Keeps have turning. a little bit of red. All I can see is his belly. There we go. It, yeah, it might be a really small red ear. Some sort of hybrid, maybe. I don't know. You're going to put him in the bucket, huh? Yeah. All right. That would have been really fun. I didn't almost fall down. I don't know what you're talking about. Size, Come on, teeny tiny fish duty right now. Heck, when, when they're so small that you can see the light, you can see through them. Have a hard time putting them in the bucket. What? No, you got one like I've been turning loose. Yeah, I think those are probably red-eared sunfish, Houston. Really young ones. Just look like really small red ears. And what do we got here? Mr. Snakey Snake. What you got in that hole, Mr. Snake? What you been eating, buddy? Hmm? I'm seeing you do that. He was down in a hole. He had something big in his belly, too. Hey, walk right out there and see if you can catch fish. <laughs> he just headed off out that way. He's out there somewhere. That's probably where all of our fish went. Snakes ate them all. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. yeah, I see you. You got up here and beat me to it. Ah! That's a big one. Holy moly. <laughs> That's one of the biggest biggest sunfish I've ever caught here. No. No. It's pretty big. It is pretty big. I agree. I'm over here catching snakes and trying to video and now I'm getting out fished. Need some help? Thank you. I assume you're going to put that one in the bucket. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo! That gummit. Another one. If I wasn't watching this, I'd swear you were cheating. That one's definitely a red ear. A juvenile red ear. I think my snake should count. I caught that snake, and he had fish in his belly. I could see it. You couldn't see the fish. I could see the bulge. Maybe it's the rod. It's the, it's the runt rod bringing you good luck. Oh, he tried to get out, too. Oh, you about lost another one. Yeah. Here, you want me to give you one, Dad? No, no, you just throw that fish back. I don't need your little... I don't need your little minnow. Guys, this ain't going so well for me right now. I think Houston's got three good fish in the bucket. I have zero. I have to try something different, so I'm calling an audible. I caught a live crawfish. There's a couple decent bass swimming around in here that should, should want to eat a live crawfish. Toss this live crawfish over there by the dam. Surely there's some sort of big fish down hiding under the dam. Are you kidding me? That's what my live crawfish. <laughs> ah, I can't win for losing today, guys. I lost my crawfish for a tiny little bullhead catfish. Nice, no, too late for that $20 bet. Now you backed out. Watch them little bullheads, they'll stick you. 
I mean, you can't even lift that guy and hold him way out and make him look big. I gotta get another crawdad. Gotta find a crawdad somewhere. Ugh, it's too dirty. I know they're in here. The water's just too stirred up right now. Success. I got a little one this time. He's not near as big, but probably catch another bullhead, but uh, we're gonna put him on a hook and try because uh, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good for my team. And my competition over there is not even sweating it. Well, actually he does look like he's sweating, but I don't think he's worried about losing. All right, little crawdad. Kiss the camera and wish us good luck. Mwah. Ah. That's something. But I didn't lose my crawdad. We're good. Oh yeah. Hey, finally got a keeper. Sort of. He's not a monster. But we gotta keep something, right? You'll make fun. Gotta start somewhere. Good grief. Houston's got another one for the bucket. But I got another lucky crawdad. How many is that? Four in the bucket? Yeah. Four fish in the bucket for Houston. We're gonna catch something big eventually though. I just won the tournament right there. Nope, I was hung up. I think we've about fished this spot out. Let's load up and go up the creek and try another hole. Okay. Yeah, you do have a whole bucket full of fish. They need some fresh water. Yeah. <laughs> well, the pond is looking nice other than it's about, what do you think, two feet low, Houston? Something like that? It is, it is uh, definitely way low. I'm going to throw out a handful of feed while we're here and just see how many fish come up to eat. All right, that might be a little bit more than a handful, but... There's a few fish coming up. Not a ton. There's a bunch of teeny tiny little baby bluegill down here on the edge. That's a good time. But not many big ones out there feeding. We need to do a catch plan and cook soon. Well, the problem is, is the last several times we hadn't been able to catch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We're here. We have trout magnets. Yeah. Let's try for a second. Kill the buggy. You don't count for the tournament. Let's yeah. just see if we can catch a big bluegill. Yeah. Well, there's quite a few up feeding right now. They're starting to show up. <laughs> the wind's blowing your bobber like crazy. Yeah. I think there's a log or something right there where you're at. Woo! 
I was almost a, a cameraman Ron thumbnail and title right there. Snagged. Oh, you got a mess. Well, I finally caught a fish. <laughs> but it's a minnow. <laughs> Look at it's a giant red shiner or golden shiner i mean big golden shiner i told you we had some big golden shiners in here and uh i was i just put a piece of bread on a hook and that's probably what's what we're seeing mostly out there i'm trying to see if i can catch one of these tilapia so far just a golden shiner fish number two on a piece of bread if only i hadn't implemented the rule that said the fish caught at the pond don't count in the tournament i'd be in the lead now Oh, Houston's got one too. Maybe our uh, tournament got changed. Our, our fishing tournament video might have got changed to a big bluegill catching video. And it looks like he's been, he's been caught by a heron. Oh, yeah. Hang on just a second. Let me toss mine back. We should have got a picture of both of them. Let's go pick up the pace. The fish are jumping. Look at that. Oh, he's all dirty now. But yeah, I see what you're talking about. Looks like something got after him. Yeah. All right. I need another piece of bread. I gotta catch another fish. Big bluegill. Oh my God. There's one. Oh yeah, this one's a giant, Houston. Got a good one. I say it's a giant. Looks about like the one that Houston just caught, but plenty big enough to eat if we were actually keeping fish. I mean, I say anytime a bluegill's big enough to lip, they're big enough to eat, right? <laughs> got you on the side of the head, didn't you? Yep. All right, time to get back on task. We caught some big bluegill in the pond though, and the pond is looking good, but we need some rain really bad. It's dark over here. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down. It's getting getting dark on the creek, huh? Yeah. But that water over there will wake you up though. That water over there is definitely cold. Yes. That'll wake you up. It's a little chilly. All right, we're gonna go up the creek. Oh, there's an armadillo. Let me sneak up on it. A lot of people have never seen armadillos. He's right there. He's down here by the edge of the water looking for bugs to eat. The ground's nice and soft, I bet you. Oh, uh, there's a wall there, sir. Where are you gonna go over there? Go. I've never seen an armadillo go underwater like that. Yeah, he, like, uh, he looks like a missile going underwater. He just took off running on the bottom. Yeah. I bet we can spook him out of here and do it again. I don't know, he's, he's way up in there somewhere. That was pretty stinking funny though. I've never in my life seen an armadillo go underwater. And like Houston said, he looked like a missile. You never know what you're going to find out here in the woods. All right, here's our last stop on the creek. I know it doesn't look like much. Looks kind of yucky and nasty, but uh, we always catch fish here, don't we, Houston? Yeah. What? There's raccoon poop right here. Well, yeah. <laughs> of course there is. They want to get up there and look around. Oh, Good. That gives me a chance to get my rod out. And actually catch a fish before Houston. You got all that creek and you out here fishing right in front of me. What's up with that, boy? Well, 
Well, let's see tiny little bluegill. There's gotta be a bass here somewhere, right? Yeah. Not one. See that. It's unfortunate. It's a minnow. There's so much moss in the water, it's hard to get around all of it right now. And there's a whole bunch of tiny little bluegill. I can see them. Ah, oh, they're just too small. They're just like thousands of them out there right now. I don't know if they'll show up on video very well. Like right there, right there. They're hard to see on camera. Oh, there's a little bass right there, Houston. Oh, he looked at mine. Yeah, I was looking to say, if he swims over there and bites your lure, he's right there. But they can see us. They're too close. But there's just thousands of little bluegill, but yeah, nothing big enough to bite. Right there's three different bass right there. I know, but they can see us, buddy. I know. Hey, there's one. <laughs> he's about like the one I have in the bucket already. And my bucket's way over there behind me. I'm losing like 50 to two or something. He's a pretty little green sunfish. He just, you know, well, he's gone. I guess he's not going in the bucket for sure. Oh, there's a bass right out there. Something's got it. Something's got it. Hey, look at there. I think it's just like the one I just caught. No, no, this one's actually a bluegill. Well, I mean, ah! that's two. You saw them, they count. I touched the fish, right? Do they have to go in the bucket to count for weigh in, really? Yeah. Oh. We don't. I don't even know that it's worth weighing now. You've whooped me so bad. I'm getting hungry, too. It's past our supper time. Golly. I've been fishing here for five minutes. And you just come over here and catch the biggest one yet. My little bobber's just floating out there lonely. Ah, look at here. Look at here. Ha, I caught a fish. You know, Houston might have put a butt whooping on me today, but... I know how to take a good butt whooping. It's nothing new for me. Thank you there. There's what? One, two bass right there, three bass. I don't know if you guys can see them on camera or not, but. They're just not hungry. Well, I think that's where we're gonna call, call it quits on the fishing tournament. Um, the good news is, I think I won at the pond. The bad news is, I got my tail whipped at the creek today. Like, not even close. I never caught a, a really a big enough fish to even keep. I'll show you my catch though. So we'll look at my bucket first. We were gonna weigh our, you know, we were gonna keep the six biggest fish we caught and weigh them. Um, I only managed to put one fish in the bucket. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, it really wasn't a big enough one to keep anyways. Little green sunfish. That's pretty much the story of my day, Houston. Now. If golden shiners and giant bluegills at the pond counted, I think I would have had you, buddy. I think I would have had you. What do you think? Yeah. So, in Houston's, let's see. Now, listen, if he went over six fish, that's breaking the rules, and then I win by default, right? Yeah. So, I hope you didn't put more than six fish in there. Yeah. One. That was probably the smallest one in the bucket, wasn't it? No, this one is. Look at that. 
That is a pretty three. little fish right there. Two. Oh, this one's big. It counts as two. <laughs> Green sunfish. Three. See you, buddy. And then monster green. Oh, yeah. This one's a giant. Look at here. We can lip this guy. Look at that. That was number four, right? Yeah. Well. I won. Good job. Thank you. Doge. All right, well, I'm glad you called the bet off, and we didn't have to bet 20 bucks that the winner gets 20 bucks. How about you just take me to Urban Air Top Golf again? Top Golf again? Yeah. For beating me? Yeah. I don't know about it. We'll see. Richie will be home soon. He works out of town for two weeks. He okay. comes back. He's your golf buddy, so yeah. maybe we can find a time. We need to take Mom and Emily up there. I want to see Mom swing a golf club. Well, guys, as you can see, that's probably a wrap on uh, the fishing season for the creek. The creek is awesome in the spring, early summer, through midsummer, but as it turns into fall, the creek kind of just, hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. The thing might go off and shoot me in the face or something. Um, as we come into fall and winter, the creek kind of just psh, nosedives on quality of fish in the creek, and I, you know, it's just it's just part of it. We love the creek. We love our time at the creek all summer long. But as school starts back up, you know, you see less and less of the creek. And we really don't do much fishing down here after summer anyways because there's just not as many bigger size fish to catch. Even though, you know, most of our stuff is like micro fishing challenges. Yeah. But it's still fun. We had a great time. Got to see some big bluegill in the pond today. That one big golden shiner. It's good to see those in there. And uh, that's a lot of good a lot of good forage, a lot of good food for the bass. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.